Three nothing game top three as promised Joey Votto is joining us Joey I don't know if you could hear that there but we just showed the scene of Ray having a catch with dad and uh, you tweeted yesterday that getting the chance to play in this game is an exceptional moment in your life and you detailed some of why can you uh, just tell our audience why this is such a special meaningful day for you I um, I actually Google searched uh, synonyms for special and exceptional came up so I, I thought it was an appropriate word um, I um, used to play catch with my father from eight, nine years old, and uh, it was a daily thing. He wanted to be a, me to be a pitcher like John Smoltz, and um, we threw every day. He'd catch me. We'd uh, share that moment together, and, you know, he passed away about 14 years ago, and here I am at the Field of Dreams, you know, longing, longing for a catch with my father, but still basking in this with a smile knowing that uh, you know if he was here we'd, he would have loved it and we would have shared it together so it's it's very much a full circle moment for me that's foul and it's two and two so you were looking forward to it you guys come here today you pull up you walk through the corn what has the experience been like for you you know we're right in the middle of uh, the regular season and uh, it, we're, it, we're in this 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 daily routine of, of competing no. and, and, and performing, staying in the same city. So it's very much a shock to our, our schedule. Uh, we're not used to, uh, you know, flying in the day of a game, performing, and then flying out. Um, but, you know, for, for this particular game, for this day, for this no. moment, it is absolutely worth it. And it's, I think, one of the most special days of my major league career. To walk for Contreras. Yeah, let him know. Don't say anything that you shouldn't. Right? Joey, they say that you're one of the best conversations down there at first base. Who are some of your favorite conversations down there? Ah, there's, there's too many. There's too many. Usually it's, uh, you, let me tell you something. Whenever Wilson's here, he is so grumpy. <laughs> he, he is so grumpy. He won't talk to me. And so uh, I usually have to tell him how good of a swing it was, how much I like his game, how happy I am for him and his brother. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's in the middle of uh, competing, as am I. And, um, you know, we'll catch up. Uh, there's lots of good guys. You know, Rizzo, former, former uh, Cub, now Yankee, uh, Freddie Freeman. There's, there's too many. Pete Alonso, we had in New York who... You know, I, 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 I as as positive as it gets. You know, I, I miss hit a ball and I got an RBI. And he said, "Hey, RBI," I, and I'm fuming. I'm fuming over miss hit, hitting a ball. And he's, he's like, "You got to look at the bright side." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes a ball from the rookie Nick Lodolo, who uh, Joey, we've been impressed with. I, I imagine you guys have too watching this guy blossom in the majors. Yeah, he's. Uh, in my opinion, I think he's got as much potential as anybody, any of the uh, young starters of ours. And, uh, run out! Stolen base for wisdom. But it's, as, as you know, John, it's that first two, three years of your career, it, you, you see uh, what this league is really about. It's funny, I always say that the major leagues is the easiest place to play, but you have to be equipped for it. So I, I found when I when I got called up to the, the major leagues that it was like the balls were better, the stadiums were better, everything, the scouting, everything about the game is uh, built to everything about the behind the scenes and the game on the field is built for the player to succeed. But it will absolutely swallow you. It will gobble you up uh, if you if you don't uh, if you don't have the skill. Uh, if you don't have the talent to be able to handle the rigors of the dailiness of this game, because you know, an 0 for 4 turns into an 0 for 24. Um, and with Nick, uh, he's in that phase where he gets to he gets to find out what he's really about, you know, and, and he gets to learn, adapt to the league, change his game because that's inevitable. You're going to have to make small and major adjustments in this game, and he's in that window. I'll tell you a story because you know I'm out here at first base 
in the middle of a major league game, and I'm, I've got nothing to do right now, so I might as well tell a story. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, I faced John in my, I believe, my rookie year. That's right. And John was playing for the St. Louis Cardinals, and I didn't know I was playing. Your, your first ballot, right? Yes. I didn't know I was playing against. I knew I was play, facing a, a Hall of Fame pitcher. I didn't know he was first ballot, and that's extra special. That's that's that's. You know the inner circle type of stuff. And you didn't have to do much waiting, and so I'm I'm a young player, and I'm angry and competitive, and John's pitching, and he did not like the way we rubbed up the balls, <laughs> and right, <laughs> he was screaming at me and the umpire and our bench, and uh, I gotta be ready over here. He'll hit the ball this way. Gotta turn it over, play. Nico Horner, yeah, like I said, and um, uh, John screaming, and I'm 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 in uh, I'm in the frame of mind like you got an option. You can either be intimidated by this this you know uh, superstar, all-time great, Hall of Fame, you know kind of guy, or you can match it. And so I think I walked. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was worried about hitting somebody because I couldn't feel the baseball. I remember, I remember thinking, boy, he's got a good slider. He has a good slider. At that time, your fastball wasn't quite at his no. peak. I think you were more 91, 92. Yeah. And I remember feeling like, you know what I remember from, you know, I faced Randy Johnson, I faced Maddox, I faced Mariano, you, I faced uh, Schilling, um, Yusina. I, and Glavin, those are the pretty much the marquee guys I faced at the very beginning of my career. And I remember something very distinct about all you guys. Every single one of you guys had exceptional command, fantastic command. And I didn't expect that. Fly to left center field. Moore is there. You know, I thought of you guys as power guys, power arms, power sliders, and. Uh, the command that all of you had uh, shocked me, shocked me, and uh, you know, was, I get to I get to brag about that with with the younger players uh, that get to face Max Scherzer and Clayton Kershaw, and and uh, you know, I'm missing future Hall of Famers, but uh, all the guys now that are that are the guys that get to face them, uh, I had that moment, those moments with the. With that era before. So, well, the, unique, before. the uniqueness for me and you is that you've transcended kind of two generations of the way the game's played. You've played that long and you've adjusted in a unique way to where it was all about command and throwing the ball where we needed to throw it. And now the velocity is at such an unbelievable yeah. level. And you've, you've survived that and really thrived through changing your game throughout your career. I like how you slipped in uh, your old comment in a roundabout way. Good for you, John. <laughs> One point. One point. What do uh, I need now? It's tough now. If you, I've, I, I, this is what I say. If you can time a fastball and if you can lay off a breaking ball, you can command the zone, you stand a chance. But if you cannot time a fastball, this is not the league for you. Yeah. You cannot play in this league without being able to time the very best fastball. And, uh, you know, the best, best arm, left handed arm I faced when I was younger was Billy Wagner, who threw 95 at the time. And um, the best right-handed arm, you know, I, I, I can't even remember, but it was more like 95. Yep. And now, I, you know, occasionally you'll look up and you'll see a 102. You know, and that's, that's not, not a big deal. With, so. A two-one pitch, swing and a miss. How different is 102 from 95? It depends. It's all about uh, there's the, the deception, the spin. Right. Uh, uh, some of them, you know, I, I, I judge a fastball based on how often guys are making contact, less the numbers. And usually when I do my scouting, I see guys timing balls immediately. That tells me the fastball's, you know, hittable. You can't miss certain fastballs. Whereas others, others, uh, no matter how hard you try, no matter how hard you try, it's, uh, it's really difficult to, to time them. So, you know, um, there's no there's no hard and fast rule with that. Joey, your 16th year. Can we get you to 20? I, I was talking to Griffey Senior before the game, and I said, uh, I feel good. And he said, You look good. Keep going. And I said, How long did you play till? And he said, 41. And I said, How'd you feel? He goes, Well, I thought I could have played till I was 43. And I said, You have any advice? He said, Have fun. 
and I'm having a great time. I want to keep playing. Thanks for the time, guys. I got to go hit maybe a homer. That way, Joey. Go get him. Great representative of this game. Thank, Thank you for doing this.